In this last year, I have blown multiple accounts, lost people that have meant a lot to me, and lost more money than I ever have on one singular investment. It's a weird feeling since I really don't have much to show for it as of yet. And yet, I feel as though I have come so far in every other domain. But how do I feel like this? And how do I manage to continue to feel like this? When I'm working a pretty shitty job, I've lost hundreds to challenges. Um, that might be a bit of an exaggeration. I don't know the exact amount. And yet, I still have the motivation and the self-confidence to keep pushing forward. This is the kind of stuff I'm going to be talking about today. And for my first point, this isn't really going to be a video in points. This is just me being for real. But I just want to chalk it up to delusion. Many of you watching might just be starting out as that is kind of the target. And you may not be too deluded yet, but trust me, you will get there. Trading is probably the most unique venture to pursue. I believe there is nothing similar to it in the necessity to shape your entire life around it. It is also unique can you guys hear that? Is that a car or fucking birds? It is also unique in the way of its simplicity. You don't need loads of money to start and you don't really have any social competitors. Theoretically, you don't need a single follower to become profitable. If you are looking to start trading, however, get ready for your life to change. I personally believe that you can't really be an undisciplined person and still manage to be consistently profitable. And when I say consistently profitable, I mean for the long term. Of course, there are doom scrollers and shit that are getting breaded off of this Forex stuff. But I'm talking about starting this with the intention of expanding, with the intention of investing, not just for a couple cool cars. I started Forex looking at people like rappers and influencers. And if I started on the self-improvement grind around when I started Forex, I am positive everything would have been a lot different. Now that's not to say everybody's mind works the same, of course. Everybody's journey is gonna be different. We all know that. I'm just going off of the average person on the same time frame and the same strategy as me, which is pretty much just people in mine and RD's Discord, which can be found down below. Let's real quick go back to the intro though and talk about how I managed to blow multiple accounts. Now, I've blown two accounts before, but one was with a pretty dodgy prop firm, so I kept managing to get stopped out with like heavy slippage and whatnot. But on the one account I lost due to complete skill issue, I would say the main factor in me losing was the patience. It's so boring to say, but due to it, I kept over risking and I kept over over leveraging and you know how that always ends. This video is me being as for real as I can be. And if there was one thing that could have stopped all of this, of course with the power of hindsight, but something that would have consistently made me check wins and double check most importantly losses would have been journaling. Now this may sound like a little bit of a plug as I just have published my own live trading journal, which will be down below if you wanted to check that out. But if I had a journal from my very first trade, not just on liquidity's blind amount, but ever, I don't think I could have gone wrong in the ways that I did. Of course I have learned from my mistakes, but just remember that the wise man learns from the mistakes that other people make. So if you're ever looking for any assistance or any direction in making a journal, join up One Stop Profits down below and I assure you that everything is there that is needed to change the route of which your trading is currently going. And now for maybe the most important part of it, for everyone starting Forex, don't feel as though you need to go ghost, you know, cut everyone off, go D&D, as I think this is something that the whole aesthetic and stigma of trading pushes. You just need to find a strong desire to work consistently. And I unfortunately found that desire in the process of cutting people off. It just made me realize that the work you do no matter if there is people in your life that you feel as though are holding you back and if there aren't, you can't say if you have people in your life that you feel are holding you back and you think they're not making you do any work, you can't say that I'd do so much work if I was by myself. That is equivalent to that one meme of that like one fat guy and he's saying like, oh, if I was in this anime, I'd be so powerful or some shit. Or like, oh, I'd grind so hard, I think it was. It is literally the same. If you can't find the reason to put in this hard work when there is literally other humans holding you accountable, it is so easy just to fall into a pit of, you know, fucking self-pity when you're by yourself. You may be motivated to come rich, but motivation is never really the thing that actually leads you there. It is consistency, and that doesn't come from motivation or emotions at all. Consistency in the markets will forever beat the people that work intensely, but for a short amount of time. I think there was like a Bruce Lee 
quote about something like that. I'll chuck that down in the comments if you want to go see that. Anyways, yeah, regardless of everything, I recommend everybody to start Forex. You know, I don't think there is anybody that isn't fit for it. But just know, even if you are working so hard, a majority of you won't make it. Statistically, that is just true. But if you're in the small majority that has made it this far in the video, drop a like and comment, we're all gonna make it. Because everyone watching, I'm sure you will. Anyways, I'll see you later.